Kenny Hutt. Adam, I'll just start with a simple question for you. Were you surprised by the verdict? Uh, I wasn't surprised by the verdict. Now, when you, when he came to see you after Trayvon was killed, George Zimmerman, what did he say to you that night? Well, it wasn't at night. It was actually in the morning. The next day. And uh, when he came to see me, you know, he was still pretty traumatized, to say the very least. He was pretty banged up and pretty bruised up. Um, the first thing he said to me was, thank you. And, you know, I said, for what? And he said, you helped save my life. And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, well, you taught me how to shrimp. And what that is is a move, obviously, for escaping your hips to move if you're in a bad situation or on the bottom with somebody on top of you to try to get to a more advantageous position. Well, apparently he told me that he was having his head smashed into the sidewalk, and that was obviously not doing wonderful things for him, so he was able to shrimp to move just a little bit to get onto the grass, where apparently he was getting his head smashed into the grass. So that kind of made it a little bit easier for him to not be killed on the concrete, so to speak. Mark, I wonder if you have a question for Adam. I do, Adam. This is uh, obviously a significant thing to be a part of a trial like this, and I know it affected you both personally and professionally. I'm wondering as you look back, if you could do it all over again, is there anything you would have done differently, either words or actions? As far as what I would have done? On the stand, say. Yeah, anything, anything on the well, stand, on the, on the anything stand, you did on well, your there, website, anything. There was really nothing anything, differently for anything. me to do. Well, there was okay. really nothing differently for me to do. On the stand, you know, I was called simply as a witness. I was not part of the defense team. And I was not part of the prosecution team. I was simply a witness answering the questions that were asked of me. Jenny, so go it ahead. it really wasn't a matter of doing after? something differently. I, 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 I... Jenny. I have a couple of things. Um, number one, did you believe in George Zimmerman's quote unquote innocence from the start? And number I'm sorry, two, I could barely was, hear you. did you believe in George Zimmerman that he was not guilty or that he was quote unquote innocent from the start? A. And B, was that word choice in how you described his body your own? Because hearing you talk about his being soft and doughy and like that, I was cringing and I can't stand the guy. Well, on the word choice, it was actually an interesting conversation that I had had with one of my other trainers the day before that I was going to be going on the stand in the conversation. He didn't realize, after all the hype of the media, he didn't realize who the individual was, that that was actually somebody who was a person that he had worked with at one point or another. And when I described him, he says, oh, the big softy. Interesting. I've got so, to take a break right you know, there. It wasn't simply something that I came up with on my own by myself thinking, hmm, that would be a good thing to say in any way, shape, or form.